Welcome to Bits of Time, and first of all, thank you for giving us your time. We are a podcast dedicated to just a very simple question. Is a certain video game worth your time? You'll be hearing two different opinions. I'm Michael, the middle brother. And I'm Larry, the older brother. We both grew up in the same household, but we have completely different takes on video games. Yeah, there's very few overlap, and it's kind of strange how that works out. And our mindset with video games in general are completely different. I am more inclined to finish games, where Larry not so much. So that's one of the reasons why we decided to start this. I've beaten over 400 games. I have a massive game collection. I want to play all these games. Yeah, I've probably beaten over four games. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be the back and forth between us. We're going to bring you a different perspective. He is a father. I'm not. So there's going to be a whole dynamic between is a game worth your time based on you know length of the game, how it operates, the gameplay, many factors that go into it. There are many things within the games that turn one of us on to a game and turn one of us off where he wants to drop it and you've already listened to. The Minish Cap and Larry is a Nintendo hater and we're going with that for now. You got to stop calling me. You just have to. (laughs) Really, one of the beautiful concepts that I like about this podcast is a lot of the time I will have only invested an hour or two. I think actually at one point during the season, it may have only been 20 minutes in a game. (laughs) (laughs) Look forward to that. And uh, Mike has typically beaten the games. And that's not always the case. I have finished some of the games as well. But you're getting a perspective of here's the things that stopped me from playing the game or here's where I got bored let's figure out from that perspective is there something that can be done that Mike can answer the question to that make me want to keep playing or for you out there the listener if you find some of the grudges that tend to align you to think like Larry well maybe then you should skip this game and it's not worth your time but I'm gonna fight for these games to be worth your time don't worry I got you Yeah. So the whole main concept, if you are hitting subscribe on this podcast, what you need to look forward to is this. We're going to have a seasonal format. There will be 12 games each season. They will roughly take about three months to record. One episode every Wednesday will release. In between that, there will be a minor break. And when I say minor, that could be up to Mike anywhere between two to three months, maybe. Sure. In between seasons, we will have topical episodes. However, they could also bleed into the season as well. We yeah. just There's not really a rhyme or reason. The main thing to look forward to is there's typically going to be about two seasons a year that release. So 24 games, lots of games to talk about. So you're going to have a perspective on, are these games worth going back to? Are they worth playing? Are they worth buying? Are they worth your time? And we look forward to hearing a lot of you complaining, I'm sure, my takes on games. Or maybe, man, Mike just likes everything. Why do you <laughs> want to take his you know, point of view seriously? So we're going to get to see a lot of that. Again, the topical episodes on the side, I think, will be a lot of fun. And we will kind of keep that behind the curtain for now. But we have some fun ideas. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on, there will be a Bits of Time Twitter. But really, you should just follow each one of us. So I'm Larry. It's going to be at Matter of Larry on Twitter. And I'm Michael. And it'll be at Matter of Michael on Twitter. Make it really easy. You just type in Matter. We'll probably both pop up. We should, hopefully. At least you. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, so that's where you're going to get a lot of the updates. We'll be talking about our episodes. We'll be interacting with anyone who actually feels like talking with us. Anything about the episodes. Anything else, Mike? I'm playing around with the idea of a JRPG journey type of thing. So maybe first impressions for JRPGs because that's one of my wheelhouses. But we shall see. But one of the main reasons we decided to go with a season format because in the past we had another podcast called Games Gone and we really liked doing that. Life changes came in the way. I was supposed to be in Japan by 2020, but then... You know, COVID happened, and so that put that on delay. I'm still planning on going, but in a different restructured format. We didn't want to restart Games Gone right after I realized I couldn't go to Japan. We wanted to sit on it, simmer with it, and we came up with this format for bits of time, and I think it's splendid. It's awesome. It goes to both of our strengths. I can (laughs) torture Larry with different (laughs) games, and we don't have to like the same game, and I think that's what... We're really liking about this format. Well, and again, I would say that's probably the big takeaway. I I felt there was a slight issue in Games Gone where we both do have different opinions on video games. And Games Gone for the most, actually, I believe every single episode, we always had to pick a game that we liked. Because we don't want to, yeah, we we don't want to spend that many hours talking about a game that we don't like. And so here we are with this new format, Bits of Time. Really excited about it. I hope you are too. And you're going to get a plethora of different games in these. Some some that we have histories with and some we don't. So that's what makes it beautiful. Yes. And uh, I, I again think that my brother here is taking advantage of his 
vast knowledge of games and torturing me from time to time with some of these. Yeah, most likely. So there it is. That's our story. We both look forward to saving you some bits of time. That's what this podcast is all about. But Larry, let's do the antithesis of that. I'm going to waste some time. If you had to play one genre of game for the entire year, what would it be? Wait, you're just going to ask me a random question? Yes. This is our icebreaker. For, to get you into... I mean, you already know he doesn't like Zelda, so you have that if you listen to the first episode. So I feel like this whole podcast, you're just trying to <laughs> make me seem like I'm a hater on everything. <laughs> but what genre? genre? Not a favorite genre. What genre would you... If you had to pick one genre for the entire year, you couldn't deviate, what would it be? My goodness, that's so difficult to answer. I mean... I agree. I mean, I already know mine, but I agree. So if I... If it had to be for the full year so that I didn't get bored. I mean, this is such a hard question because I think I know my answer, but there's literally only one game in the genre I like. <laughs> oh, man. So I would probably say sports. Okay. And that's because of Rocket League. Yeah. Oh, does that count? Yeah, I guess that is a sport it's game. It's a sport game. Okay. And again, it's not anywhere near my favorite genre, but if I have to only play one thing that's going to keep me at least somewhat entertained for the entire year and I can play in small spurts, that's that's probably be me. Because if I pick Western RPG, at some point I'm gonna need a break. I, I just I'm gonna need a palate cleanser. If I'm gonna do a strategy game, if I'm gonna do an RTS, like those get me. This RTS is especially get me so stressed out that I need a break. Those puzzle platformers you love would probably be. My my issue is I don't think I don't feel like there's. I mean maybe there is enough of them. That that might not be a bad one actually. You might be making your me brain might that. hurt after that. Yeah, because I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with. I know it's a cop up, but I'm gonna stick with sports. I'm gonna. I'll say sport. That was not what I thought you were gonna well, say. What did you think I, I was? Gonna I don't say? know, but that was not <laughs> it. <laughs> so I've had time to think on this question because I was planning on asking him. I had three ways I was gonna go. I was like, oh, I, I would just pick first person shooters and just get really, really good at one shooter. Go to tournaments. There we go. But do you think you'd actually? Because again, no, I'd it's hate not. It. It, but no. But even then, it's not like you would necessarily get really, really good per se. Because you're not playing any more than you. I guess you do play quite a bit. Yeah. So you would probably would get pretty good. Okay. Unless I just go through a back catalog of all the first person shooters yeah, out there, which that's what I'd probably do actually, because yeah. I really want to play the old Unreal tournaments and stuff. Would portals count? Yeah, portal. Portal count. Okay. Hmm. That's actually not that bad of a pick. Yeah. I, like I mean, that. you got Halo. You got Portal. You got all this great stuff. Half Life. And then I was like, all right, I'll do platformers because I love me some 3D and 2D platformers. One, those would probably be separate genres I would kind of consider. And also, I think I would get bored of that. I mean, I'd probably get bored with any if I just played one genre. But I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd pick JRPGs because then I would actually finish all the JRPGs I've oh, started over oh, throughout the years. I think I think I got a question for you then. All right, go for I it. I think. Uh, I was trying to rack my brain here because I'm like, you can't be the only one that asked the question. How about this? This will tell. This will be decide if I actually know you or not. If you could only keep one of these franchises, the other one would be erased from history forever. I hate these questions, by the way. That's good. I'm, I'm glad I'm asking it then. You're so dumb. Final Fantasy or the Tales series? Ooh. You can only keep one. Ooh. Uh, I would still keep my memories, though. No. Well, then that's dumb because then I wouldn't regret whatever other one I change. Mm. <laughs> That's a good see, move. That's see, good I think move. about these things. Let's see. Uh, How about it, it? There would never be another one. It's like editing the question a little bit. I know, but I kind of feel like there's a deepness to the first original one where it's like now you don't have like the Final Fantasy X memories with your brothers. <laughs> I know. Exactly. <laughs> Honestly, okay, fine. How about this? There is... Ne but see, the only unfair part about... I guess Final Fantasy XVI is pretty exciting. Yeah, possibly. But it's like, okay, fine. We'll do that. There will never be another Final Fantasy mm. game again or there will never be another Tales Again. And I would go with I'm keeping tails. Ooh. See, that's where I, that's why I thought that would be the way that you would go for that direction, which is why I thought the other one was more difficult. Because <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy has changed so much that in my head lost some of its identity, but I also think the identity of Final Fantasy is to always change, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, we're going to get more tense with these down the road because I was going to jump into the Nintendo franchise, but I decided to let you go for the first one here. Thank you. I love my JRPGs. Tales of... The Tales of series is great. Final Fantasy is great. They all Apparently, have their, you, you heard it here first. He doesn't want any more Final Fantasies. <laughs> you can stop them. You can tweet at Matter of Michael. <laughs> they, they peaked at PS1, so it's okay. I mean, I don't necessarily disagree with that, except you got to give me some Final Fantasy 12. There we go. And this is the stupid banter you're going to hear for an entire season. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>